Hello and welcome to a Trend Micro Network Security Endpoint tutorial. In this video, we're going to walk through the settings and route table changes needed for the edge deployment model. Luckily, only a few changes are needed, so let's go ahead and jump right in. To give you a better idea of what we're trying to accomplish, shown here are example diagrams of before and after the route table changes are made. As you can see, we are inserting the network security endpoint right between the public subnet and the internet gateway. The public subnet can contain other services, such as NAT gateways, but we don't need them on the diagram for this tutorial. With the edge deployment model, we will be protecting all connections between the internet and the public subnet. If you're looking to do something different, you will need to look into one of our other deployment models to set up your environment. Also, this diagram only shows an example for a single availability zone, but if you have additional availability zones you would like to protect, you will need to duplicate this setup by creating an additional network security endpoint and resources for each other availability zone you want protected. For the purposes of this video, we are starting with a basic setup where traffic from the public subnet is routed straight to the internet gateway. We'll go ahead and remove these lines describing the flow of incoming traffic, but keep in mind that this is how traffic will flow until the second route table change. For this tutorial, we are assuming you already have a network security endpoint created within the VPC you want protected. If you don't have one created yet, please refer to the Trend Micro Network Security Endpoint documentation for how to create one. Just a note, as we make changes, this diagram will be updated to reflect those changes. The subnet the network security endpoint is in will need a route table associated with it. So if you haven't already, create a new route table and associate it with the endpoint subnet. If your internet gateway is not attached to your VPC, go ahead and attach it now. This allows us to reroute internet gateway traffic to the network security endpoint. Now that the internet gateway is attached to your VPC, create a new route table and make an edge association with the internet gateway we just attached to your VPC. We'll go ahead and add a line representing the endpoint subnet's local route to the public subnet, which already exists. The first route we will add is for the endpoint subnet's route table, which will forward all inspected traffic to the internet gateway. The second route we will add is for the edge-associated route table for the internet gateway. This forwards traffic returning from the internet, destined to the public subnet, to the network security endpoint for inspection. The third and final route we will change is from the public subnet to the network security endpoint, so outbound traffic is inspected before going to the internet. Congratulations, your public subnet internet traffic is now being inspected by Trend Micro's network security endpoint. Be sure to check the Trend Micro network security endpoints documentation on how to test your setup. Thank you for checking out our routing guide for the edge deployment model. We hope to see you in another video.